Well, 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 welcome back to the Forex Fortress, of which this is a very special day because it is the last day of the week and also the last day of the month, so we got plenty to talk about. Also, a little bit late today, been listening to Tchaikovsky all morning. Get cultured, motherfuckers. Anyways, <laughs> plenty to talk about right now as we do follow up on yesterday's short-term time frame analysis, of, of which what we were looking for on, Nick, on, uh, on Dixie was a little bit of upside action towards the $94 region, of which this will kind of help round out our biases coming into the, not just the end of the day, but also the end of the month. And uh, what happened? Well, we actually did get, actually, towards 94 and uh, 10 cents so nice not bad right there planned out a short-term pullback after that but how is this going to shape up for the longer term as we are getting not just the monthly close but also the weekly too so looking at the weekly right here any sort of a closure above about 93 and a half bucks looks good to me for another try to the upside coming into uh, the month of november and then more importantly looking at the monthly right here how does it look like right now still looks to me like it's trying to bottom out around that 200 exponential average on the monthly chart and putting potentially even a higher low right here as well as a historical volatility percentile on the monthly is just beginning to expand from an incredibly low region even printing multiple snake eyes one two three months in a row actually yeah and this is a contraction phase that has been going all the way back to may of 2009 so this is likely going to lead on to some major fireworks this is one of the reasons why i am looking for a massive move in dixie and while i, while I have been a little bit more of a uh, boo law on these regions right here of which you know i still think that it's possible to actually come back down a little bit lower maybe even down towards 91 bucks but uh, but long term macro style talking three to five years down the road i'm phenomenally bullish on this so as it is right now not only are we well actually on the lower term time frames we haven't even looked at them lower term time frames a little bit of a pullback here so yes you know short term time frame is probably gonna have a sh slight bula ish bias on um on a lot of the us dollar pairings but daily weekly monthly all bullish here and uh and i would be looking for another try to the upside coming into next week so let's go align with our first one mr aussie dollar of which finally fucking got it right jesus christ man this one's been a thorn in my side uh but yes it did come down to our target yesterday right around 70 cent even and now bouncing up do I think that it can bounce up a little bit more? Yes, I don't really have a strong opinion on this. Uh, it, you know, if it does want to bounce up a little bit more, anywhere around 71 cent is fine. But here's the thing. We really do have now the next, uh, well, ex especially like the next week, but, uh, but perhaps even the next month of price action, you know, showing itself right here as it does put in some lower highs. And what does this look like right here? It looks like redistribution coming off of the highs at uh, 74 cents just, uh, just a couple months ago, actually. So with that in mind, <clears throat> you know, short term, yes, might rally up a little bit more, but I don't think right now is the time to be looking at short term term. I think now it's time to be looking at the weekly and monthly, of which the weekly is in complete disarray. And I think that we're going to see a lot of charts similar to this uh, today. So you'll probably see something of, you know, you, you'll, uh, sorry, you'll probably see a lot of similarities between this and a lot of the other more weaker ones, of which kind of Aussie dollars typically <laughs> is traditionally one of the weakest. And uh, yes, you know, putting in some macro highs is what it looks like to me. You know, do we close above or below the 21 this week? Doesn't really matter. I, I do think that it is just setting up sometime for likely November to actually break through. Checking out the monthly right here what do we see we do see that yes indeed we actually even have have we taken out last month's low yeah we did take out last month's low so technically speaking any sort of close really here or lower is going to look absolutely catastrophic for this asset and uh i would be looking for it to come back down in november actually all the way back down below 70 cent uh down towards somewhere around 68 cent uh before the next major bounce we'll call it so again you know short term probably does rally up a little bit more here i wouldn't be surprised if it, surprised if it does try to put in a run towards about 71 cent but the look fall fall the trend the trend is your friend and in this case uh lower highs going all the way down so with that in mind let's move on to mr cad dollar right here they're all they're all males by the way too and uh what do we see here very similar chart right especially if you look at the weekly and the monthly uh you know you can almost you can almost visualize it as sending triangle in here on the lows it's just redistribution you know no fucking rest for the wicked on this one and so what do we have on the very low term time frames i kind of feel the same on this one as i do on aussie dollar i really don't have a strong opinion on the lower term time frames here can it try up again towards uh, you know, 75 and a half cent, maybe yes. Uh, oh, I forgot to even cover up from yesterday's uh, analysis as well. Yeah, we did hit our downside target. I believe it was 74, 75 region. Uh, we actually got a little bit lower than that, but fair enough. Close enough is close enough as far as I'm concerned. And uh, and yes, bouncing up. I, you know, like I said, I don't have a strong opinion on the low term time frames right here, whether it bounces up more. I think that it very much can, and it probably will. It probably, you know, if I had to call right now, it probably will uh, put in another rally towards about 75 and a half cent, but daily, weekly, monthly, all all atrocious here so well i do think that this one you know it, i'm actually on the daily could rally up quite a uh, quite a fair bit quite quite a fair bit of uh you know above that but again it's the weekly and monthly that are taken over right here and uh as long as this thing is essentially below 76 cents this one is heavily bearish and i'd be looking for it to come down probably the next few months down below 73 cent actually uh, especially looking at the monthly here too 
did not take out months uh, last month's low just yet but any sort of a tick below 74 53 and i'm going to start to extend those targets down towards yeah about 72 and a half cent and perhaps lower than that maybe even all the way back down here towards these lows at actually 72 cent yes yeah, so and this is this is what doing what it's basically putting a distribution pattern on the lows so uh if that does break it well we're gonna have new lows on the run anyways uh what do we have after that we got swiss franc dollar right here this one definitely one of the more strong ones but uh but even it is not safe from the roaring runs of Mr. Dixie. And what does it look like on the short term time frames? Can it pop back up a little bit more towards about 109 and a half? Yes. I forget what we said on this one yesterday. If I if I had to guess, I, I was probably looking for a run back down towards about 109 and 30 ish region of which or no, 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 I did. No, I think I did say 109. Actually, so I'll, I'll have to recheck on that one. But feel free to Yeah, looking at the 55 right here, I probably did say that 109. Um, so you know, short term bounce off this region, this one can even bounce back up all the way to about 110 ish region. But again, weekly, very likely uh, next week, probably even coming down towards about 108 and a half, maybe even a little bit lower than that monthly. Again, I don't, I don't hate the monthly. Um, it's certainly not as, uh, certainly not as atrocious as what we see on like CAD dollar or Aussie dollar. Um, but it, could, but it does show some downside here as well. You know, down towards about 106 and a half region, and then probably does bounce on a monthly schedule. But again, the weekly obviously comes first, and I'd be looking for the next sort of weekly bounce somewhere around about 108 and a half, we'll call it. Um, anyways, moving on, euro pound right here what do we got oh we got a bit of a breakdown and this one i'd have to look at a weekly uh looking for another move down towards about 89 cents so i was probably wrong in this one so i probably was looking for a bounce on this one yesterday yeah yeah i was, I was uh, i'm definitely gonna be wrong in this one because i probably was I, I was definitely looking for a bounce off this region to be fair we actually did get a small bounce here towards 90 and a half cent and i'd have to recheck on that video if that's exactly what i said because i feel like i could have maybe said 70 or sorry 90 70 um but either which way uh that's only relevant for the short term time frames daily weekly monthly uh well daily weekly definitely bearish here uh, what about the monthly i wouldn't necessarily call this bearish at all but uh, i would be looking for a bounce probably around uh low 89 cent region uh euro dollar ooh, finally coming down baby and i believe we hit our target from yesterday yes indeed we did 116 and a half playing out a short-term bounce from there how high can this one get? Uh, I don't think you'd be asking for too much to get it back up to about 117 and a quarter. But uh, what's more important right now? Daily, weekly, monthly, and daily, nasty, weekly, wait, weekly, nasty, monthly, also nasty. Fuck yeah, this one's nasty girl right here. Uh, I'd be looking for this one to come back down in November, probably towards about 115. And I feel quite vindicated on this one, although it's not necessarily uh, there just yet. But a lot of people got really, really bullish right around here at about 119 and a half. We said no, uh, this is a macro area. This is actually the time to be looking for perhaps a counter move in line with the uh, 10 year long trend going all the way back, or actually 12 year long trend going all the way back to July 08. Um, anyways, uh, moving on. <laughs> I'm looking at the Discord right now. Like people are posting a shit ton of things about uh richard hart from hex um this is this is very interesting i i'll have to check on this later what the fuck's going on right here um uh but yeah anyways yes nate there's gonna be a forex video today i'm speaking right to you right now <laughs> looking you right in the eye how you doing man anyways uh moving on let's go to uh, pound yen oh my favorite little shit coin my favorite little piece of garbage and yes we were looking for some downside action on this one yesterday towards about one third i think it was 135 uh, that target was not just hit, it was very much exceeded all the way down towards about 134 and a half. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Uh, looking at the weekly right here, I don't really have a strong opinion on the short term time frames. You know, does it rally up? Or, sorry, I'm all over the place. I'm like, looking at a weekly. By the way, the short term time frame, sorry, I apologize. Uh, a little bit dizzy right now after playing some VR, but, uh, you know, can this one rally up short term as well? I yeah, I guess. I don't feel strongly about that, though. Daily, weekly, monthly, are v I feel very strongly about, though. Uh, weekly is in complete disarray. I'd be looking for monthly likely to come back down t uh, in November down towards about 131.5 and, a half, and uh, possible extension all the way down to about 129.5. And this one's very fucking nasty here. Uh, pound dollar, what do we see here? Oh, another downtrend, another descending triangle on the lows. What do you know? Bullish AF, if you're a cryptocurrency moon boy. Um, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, but yesterday, what did we see on this one? I probably was having a target somewhere down around here at about 129 and a half, uh, although it looks like we overshot that quite a 
fair bit at one tw uh, at 129 even short term can it pop back up i basically have the same thing to say about all of them on the short term yeah short term you know uh, you know if it wants to rally up here a little bit more towards 130 that's completely fine um but again weekly monthly taking over right here and uh this is a hard chart to love as it is so yeah i would be looking for this one probably in november to give another try back down towards about 126 maybe 125 uh yen dollar another one of the more healthy ones and this one you look at that don't need to make it oh actually well short term short term actually not so uh, not so hot here playing out a lot of bearish divergences um of which you know again short term i really don't feel strongly about this one i mean it you know it does certainly look a lot different than the other assets that we've looked at uh daily is kind of under pressure kind of not under pressure you know i'm not not being very helpful helpful with this but i really like to focus on the weekly and monthly because these are these are actually still good right here in any sort of a close today above about 95.55 and i'd be looking for further continuation onto the upside into november so no calls in the short term time frames again this is the end of the month it's time to be looking at monthlies and monthly targets going to be somewhere back around about 97.50 ish region uh looking at uh what do we got next who's who's next on the list who's next we got gold over here i think we had a target yesterday of 1860 and we got it hey nice nice not bad sometimes that ta bullshit works short term does it rally back up a little bit more maybe maybe all the way back up towards like 1895 or, or even 1900 possibly yes but uh this one looks like it's really setting up for a breakdown in november um uh, weekly is not terrible just yet monthly is under pressure though here monthly is definitely under pressure so uh i'd want to see how the monthly closes first and then we'll come back to it next week but uh but yeah short term probably does rally a little bit more to the upside maybe even all the way to 1900 uh but i really want to see this setup coming into november um okay what else we got uh should we check out traditional markets i believe we have do we have something new to talk about there yeah we did get the bounce off of uh, eleven thousand ish region yeah, we got down to 11,039 and a half. Not bad. Okay, so we set our, we uh, we were speaking about that likely happening this during this morning's video. We hit that. Now, bouncy bouncing. I'd actually look for this one to end up on an uh, on a little bit of an up note. I don't think that this one's breaking down like today. I think that you've probably seen the extent of the down, or, you know, maybe it tries another another move towards about like 11,000, but I don't think that we're like going to break down today. I think that this is actually a bouncy bounce area, so to speak. Same thing on SPY as well. Let's go check out, uh, uh, no, not gold, Bitcoin, <laughs> digital gold, right? That's just what we tell ourselves, isn't it? Um, anyways, uh, Bitcoin, uh, we won't talk about long term here. You already know my thoughts on that from the, from this morning's uh, video. Short term, um, what's it looking like? I don't, I, I, I don't know. Um, I don't, I don't have an opinion on this right here. Si sideways as fuck. Sideways as fuck. I mean, here, here's what we were looking at this morning. This range between 13,150 and uh, 13,650 um, uh, right here, of which basically steps in both those ranges the last days. Like, Jesus Christ. Now we're sitting right smack dab in the middle. I don't have any calls to be made on this one. I would be looking for this range to test. This this, this is what I think is going to happen over the weekend. You're going to see both sides of this range tested. Um uh, and maybe even test all the way. Hey, this chart looks different than my other one. Did do I have like different charts for for different playlists here? It can't. It, it shouldn't be because it's literally the same chart. Yeah. Oh, I guess my tr my chart didn't save or something because it, it's it's. This is what I had in play for like a few days ago. That's that's strange. I mean, it still pretty much works to be fair. But uh, but what I would like to do is actually like to flip this guy up right here. It's gonna be more like 12, eight to 12, nine rather than 12, seven to 12, eight. So we can just do something like that. Yes. And then short term uh, base at about 13, 150. Yep. I like that. Uh, ceiling at about 13, six. Yep. I like that as well. If I, you know, if, if you put a gun to my head and said crown, call it right now, up or down, I'd say up, but uh, I don't feel, and, and, and when I say up, I mean just to test the top side of this range right here, like 13,550 or 136. I don't feel too strong about this though. Uh, I'd be looking for sideways. What what I'm essentially looking for is sideways until November, um, or sorry, basically even next week, uh, anywhere between about 12,9 and 13,6. Uh, Wouldn't be surprised if we test both of those areas this weekend uh but other than that i really don't have a strong opinion here the focus is on the higher term time frames as we spoke about this morning humongous focus there weekly monthly all of significant importance mostly on cmes as well so i think i'll end it right there i want to wish you the best the best once again take care and uh and until next time